Retrobit is a really cool company that does lots of retro products in the modern era. Recently, they released the Super Retrocade, which I reviewed on this channel, and I really liked it. The emulation on it was good. It has various screen options. It's a plug and play system that has arcade games, NES games, Super NES games, and it's really cool. Even the controllers were pretty decent on it. Retrobit also announced that they are teaming up with Sega in 2018 to release brand new products for a variety of Sega systems, such as the Genesis, the Saturn, and the Dreamcast. So that's super exciting too, because really the sky is the limit of what we could see from Retrobit and Sega with that partnership going on. Well, Retrobit also released some new Super Nintendo cartridges and they sent me these over to check out. And they're basically compilations from games that you might remember on the Super Nintendo. We got three different cartridges here. We have the Joe and Mac Ultimate Caveman Collection featuring Joe and Mac, Congo's Caper, and Joe and Mac 2 Lost in Tropics. We have the Data East Classics Collection, which has Fighter's History, Fighter's History 2, Side Pocket, Magical Drop, and Magical Drop 2. And finally, the Jellico Brawlers Pack, which has Rival Turf, Brawl Brothers, this Peace Keepers, and Tough Enough. So basically, I wanna check these cartridges out. I wanna open them up. I've kept them sealed until I decided to film because I wanna see what the cartridge quality is. I wanna see you know, what the instruction book looks like because you're a retro gamer and you remember instruction books. Remember they had color and information on the games? Bring them back, companies. Quit being cheap asses and bring me back my freaking instruction booklets. And then of course, we're gonna play the games and make sure everything runs well. So sit back, relax, and let's check out some brand new Super Nintendo cartridges from Retrobit. All right, so first up, we're gonna check out the Joe and Mac Ultimate Caveman Collection, all three smash hits for the first time. Uh, you can see they're definitely Super Nintendo inspired boxes because they are Super Nintendo cartridges. Uh, it includes an exclusive sticker and button set, which I guess is pretty cool. I like the way the packaging looks. It's very nice. Man, you got the stuff on the back showcasing what the games are. Now these are officially licensed products, so Data East officially licensed these, so that makes it pretty cool in my opinion, you know? It's nice to see officially licensed stuff in 2017 for the Super Nintendo. And here we have the cartridge and an instruction manual. Pretty basic instruction manual, but I mean, it's color, it looks good. It tells you the background of the game and how to play the game, what buttons to use and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. We have a sticker, Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> and we have some buttons, as you can see. And then we have the actual cartridge. So it looks a little bit different than a standard Super Nintendo cartridge does come with a dust sleeve, which is nice. Nice and glossy, on there good. Looks pretty good. All right, so let's check out the next game, which is the Data East Classics Collection. So this has five different games on it, including the all-time favorite pool game, Side Pocket. That's, that's kind of a weird, it's kind of a weird game. Side Pocket, pool, there we go. But I mean, I don't know. Pool games can be fun, I guess. If you're, if you're into pool. All right, let's open this bad boy up. <laughs> so we got a, we got a side pocket sticker, which I will use. I like that, that's pretty cool. Two pins, magical, uh, Drop and Fighter's History. Once again, similar style, instructions, basic stuff, but nice and color, and that's all that matters. And same sort of cartridge. I like the artwork on it though. That's pretty nice. All right, and let's open up the final one. The Jellico Brawlers Pack. Rival Turf had quite possibly the most awesome cover art in the world of any video game. Like those kids looked like they wanted to mess you up. And like they wouldn't be able to do anything because they're like kids. And they weigh like 20 pounds each, but they would try.
I love this. That's that's cool. That's a cool sticker, and that's that's pretty cool too. Once again, you have the instruction pamphlet telling you how to play the games. Nice and simple. And then the cartridge and pins. Actually, I actually like those pins. This this is probably my favorite, visually speaking. All right, but of course, none of this matters if the games don't run well or if there's some problems with it with different systems. So let's check out these cartridges and see what they're all about. All right, so the first game we're gonna check out is the Joe and Mac Ultimate Caveman Collection. As you can see, this is the title screen of the game. And pressing start brings us to this menu where we can choose between the three games. I honestly, I, I don't think I've ever played a Joe and Mac game. At least I haven't played them sort of in depth. So we'll just let's take a look at the first one. Good old Data East. So this is, I guess, a two-player game, which is cool. Here's the level layout. We'll go to the first level and we'll mess around here. I am Joe or Mac. Ooh, we got a club. That's kind of cool. Kind of a fun action platformer. Look at this dude. How are you jumping so high, buddy? Yeah. I, I mean, can cave... Is that like a thing for cavemen? They jump that high? And he killed himself. Good job, buddy. You're smart. Get away from me, pterodactyls. Oh, that's a purple pterodactyl. Beat this egg open. Ooh, got a projectile now. You stand no chance against me, crazy caveman. So this um, seems to be working fine. I imagine this is probably pretty spot on to how the original game plays. It's kind of a fun action platformer. A little uh, parallax scrolling in the background. Nothing too crazy. The sprites are nicely detailed though. I like that. And now we're climbing up a dinosaur. Wee! I bet there's some cool dinosaurs in this game. I hope this dude doesn't wake up. Oh, I need to hold the button down to run. Wee! Oh god! There's a T-Rex. This dude can take a licking. Yeah, give me that meat, sir. That's what I'm talking about. T-Rex meat. That's some good meat. Uh-oh, what's going on? Some sort of stampede. Oh my god! <laughs> so I guess that dude woke up. Why are you spitting out cavemen? That's that's weird. Oh my god, there comes the tail. Ooh, caught the business there, sir. Oh, I thought he was eating the eating the grass and rock there. That would have been kind of strange. Down to two. I'm down to two. Who will win? Oh, I am Joe. There, there's there's my name. I'm Joe from GameSack. Oh, God. It's going to be close. And I died. Oh, I got another life. But yeah, so this is Joe and Mac. Seems to be running fine. I, I beat the dinosaur. I'm happy. Hey, I got the girl. That's what I'm talking about. That's just, that's all I need to play. Is she going inside? Oh, I thought she was going inside of his mouth. All right, so let's check out another game here. All right, so next up we have the Data East Classic Collection. I honestly, I don't know what game I'm going to pick from this. Fighter's History, Fighter's History 2, Magical Drop, Magical Drop 2, or Super Side Pocket. Um, let's go with Fighter's History 2. I, I don't think I've ever played one of these, but we'll figure it out. Okay, Japanese. That's all right. Um, CPU battle sounds fine. Just all right. Let's pick who who is fake Ryu. He was like first, so we're gonna assume that he's like Ryu. 
I wonder if this is like a good fighting game. Maybe I'll maybe I'll explore. Oh, I think the graphics look very nice. The the AI is destroying me, but the graphics look very nice for a, a, a SNES fighter, though. Like the stuff going on in the background, the the animation is really smooth. It's a fast-paced game. This is this is good. I suck. Oh man, I was about to give her the business. Okay, I got absolutely destroyed there. Destroyed. We're gonna play one more round because that was embarrassing. I get it's a two-round system, correct? Okay. Got to be a little, little more defensive. I don't, I don't quite know the strategies of this game. Okay, not too bad there. All right. Like just, just give me a round, really, and I'll be happy. But yeah, look at like the, the, the stuff moving in the background. Like even the, the patrons move a little bit. Like when there's action going on. I don't know if it's, if that's just circumstantial. Come on, man. That was a sick combo. None of it hit, but... I like this game. This game is actually, like, fun to play. Oh, come on. Give me the round. Spam. Spam! Spam, my Hadoukens! Oh, God. I'm going down, aren't I? Yeah. All right. So, I suck at the game, but the game is actually very fun. So, um... Yeah, Fighters History 2 is a pretty cool game, and uh, I will be checking out all the other titles uh, on my own. I'm not going to sit here and play every single game for you guys, because this video would be like 40 minutes long, and no one wants to watch that. But yeah, this game runs great. Um, it was actually very fun, and so let's check out the final one, the Jellico Brawlers Pack. So the final piece of the trio is the Jellico Brawlers Pack, and we're going to check out a game from here. Of course, let's just, I mean, let's just do Rival Turf or Tough Enough. I will say Rival Turf. I mean, that is a classic. Jellico. Jellico! I'm glad that these old companies are getting a little chance to shine. You know, like, nobody talks about Jellico or Data East in 2017, so it's nice to be able to, to mention them. Um, let's go with... Um, I guess Jack Flack. In the streets of LA. Now I am familiar with this game. So I do know that this game is running. As it should. Rival Turf is a it's a pretty decent game, honestly. If you like, you know, side-scrolling beat-em-ups, which is an absolutely dying genre. You hardly see anything. You know, there's Double Dragon 4. Oh, there was that new River City uh, Ransom game that came out on 3DS. That was pretty cool. But I'd like to see, you know, a fully fleshed out sort of console one. Obviously, it would probably have to be an eShop or maybe a limited physical release. I say eShop because I think a game like this um, is more suited for a Nintendo platform. I don't know if, you know, a lot of PlayStation owners or Xbox One owners would really care about a side-scrolling beat-up, but then again, you know, Double Dragon Neon, uh, was pretty popular, so who knows. But yeah, so, uh, Rival Turf running nice and smooth, and like I said, I will be checking out the other games off-screen. There's no point in me playing all these for your amusement and um, just taking up your time. So I'm going to check out these other games. I'm going to throw them on a plethora of systems, you know, clone systems, original hardware, all that sort of stuff. And uh, I'll give you guys my final conclusions on these games. So after I recorded footage, which I was using a clone system, the Gamers Tech 16 HD, because that's just what happened to be in my living room, I tried it out on a variety of other systems, such as the Classic 2, which I reviewed on the channel, and of course, original SNES hardware. And I'm pleased to report that the games ran with no problems on all 
of these hardware variations. So it seems like these games are pretty much compatible with everything that plays Super Nintendo cartridges. Now, should you check out these games? Is this something that you should be interested in? Pretty much boils down to whether or not you're interested in the games. You know, a game like Rival Turf is super fun to play and having other games on the same cartridge is super cool as well. Um, I wasn't really familiar with Joe and Mac, but they seem like pretty cool games to check out. And of course, Fighters History 2 is now a game I'm kind of obsessed with and I want to go play some more of it. But these cartridges retail for $34.99 each. So it's pretty much if you're interested in these games and you want just a nice new cartridge with a box and instruction booklet and of course some free extra goodies, then you should check it out. And if you reach the, this part of the video towards the end of the video, you probably deserve a reward. So I've talked about them a million times before, but my buddies over at CastlemaniaGames.com sell these products. And since you made it to the end of this video, like I said, you deserve a reward. And if you want to pick up any of these cartridges, you could pick them up for $34.99 with free shipping and you get 10% off by using the coupon code RGTCARES. So if you're interested in any of these cards, I highly recommend buying from Castlemania Games because you're gonna save money and get free shipping. Like, why, why wouldn't you want to? But yeah, I enjoy these cartridges. They're fun and, you know, it introduced me to a couple new games. I'm not super familiar with Joe and Mac. Now I kind of like those games. And Fighters History 2 is a game I definitely want to explore some more. So thank you for checking out this video. Thank you for RetroBit for sending over these products for me to check out and thank you for watching. Uh, as always, be sure to leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new here and you enjoy this sort of content, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.